Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your general monthly reading for the month of April of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We're going to dive right into this, Pisces. I'm going to start with getting you some overall energy uh, and getting your overall message from the Animal Spirit Guides, the Animal Spirit Deck. And then we're going to get into your freestyle spread using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Let's do it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisceans at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please make me a clear and accurate channel for the best messages to serve their ascension and what it is that they need to know for the month of April of 2022. Alrighty, Pisces, let's get into this. We're gonna start with the Animal Spirit deck. I'm gonna give this five shuffles. One. Two, three, four, and five. All right, Pisces, let's get into this. What's going on for, ooh. First card out, we have camel in reverse, okay? First thing I'm feeling is that you are feeling depleted here. Um, there is no rest, there's no sustenance in terms of where it is you find yourself right now. Ooh, panther. Okay. And the overall energy is, wow, okay, we have crocodile at the bottom of the deck here. All right. So... What I'm getting from Camel Pisces um, is that I, I, I just, I get a level of sustainment, um, the ability to hold nutrients. You know, Camel, Camel is a very resourceful animal, is a very resourceful being. They live in deserts, they live in very hot and arid climates, um, and they actually store water and uh, uh, nutrients in their humps. Um, and what I'm getting from it, what, what I'm getting from Camel is that this is this has to do with your environment, okay? Uh, the environment that you're in is no longer sustainable. Whether this is a physical location, um, I feel like some of you may be actually wanting to move from where it is you live right now, or the energetic environment in which you reside. Uh, this could have to do with your relationships, also. Um, but there is something about your lives, maybe even your livelihood right now, that is no longer sustaining you, that is not proper, that is not providing you with the proper nutrients, the proper sustainment, maybe even the proper fulfillment is what I'm hearing. Now, I do see your you coming out here as Panther and Crocodile. Now, Crocodile is a very wise individual, a wise being, okay, a very wise creature, um, very resourceful creature as well. Uh, I just get this. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, let me let me let me correct myself here. You your energy is coming through as panther. Okay? There is a crocodile in your midst. There is some sort of predator in your midst. There's some sort of draining energy, something that is that is just doesn't is not ha does not have good intentions. This could be a person, this could be a specific relationship that you have with someone, or it could just be the environment. I'm getting a very strong predator type of energy from the crocodile. But then your energy is coming out as panther. And panther is very strong, very fierce, very powerful. I feel like what I'm hearing, Pisces, is that you are standing up against some sort of predator or some sort of energy or environment that is really just depleting you, draining you, not providing you what it is that you need. And what I'm getting from panther is that you are le you are finally, in some cases, standing up and fiercely defending yourselves. 
You're may, you may even be defending your territory. I feel like there could be some of you here who are actually type trying to run at, run some sort of predatory energy out of your environment, out of your system. Okay. Wow. Very fierce and very strong. I really, I, I mean, I don't necessarily like this narrative for you, Pisces, but I do like the way that you seem to be standing up, coming out of the dark and into the light and forcefully and fierce, fiercefully, oh no, excuse me, fiercely, there it is, defending yourself, defending your environment, defending your family. For some of you, I'm hearing you're defending your right to choose even. All right. Let's get into the rest of this here and see if we can go deeper for you for the month of April. Yeah, five shuffles. One. Uh, I get a very strong energy, Pisces, of you having learned, this is two, you having learned how to defend yourself, why to defend yourself, when to defend yourself. This is three. So maybe if you were more of a timid individual, um, you shied away from any sort of confrontation or whatnot, whatever. I, I don't feel like you're doing that anymore. This is four. Wait, was that three? This is four. And this is five. All right, Pisces. I mean, I like the fact that you're standing up for yourself. I do. Um, a fierce predator. And it, it's almost, I, I, did, I did just hear that, a fierce predator, but it's almost as if you've been facing some sort of predator energy around you. This absolutely could be within your family, because now as I'm talking about this, for some of you, this feels like you standing up against um, an abusive parent, an abusive father, an abusive mother, or something like that. But in terms of this energy, in the past, you have been very timid, very shy, very reluctant, reluctant to stand up for yourself or what or, or anything. Something has shifted, though. And I'm interested in getting a deeper understanding of why this has shifted for you. But now you're stepping into this role of a, a, a fierce protector. All right, let's cut the deck here for you. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Pisces. We're starting you off with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Underneath the Knight of Pentacles, you have Temperance. Underneath Temperance is the Three of Swords. And then underneath the Three of Swords... <coughs> excuse me. And underneath the Three of Swords is the Six of Pentacles. Now, this, kind, this actually really makes a lot of sense here. Because... This kind of feels like the energy of a ticking time bomb. I'm not saying you're a ticking time bomb. I'm saying that you have been in a situation, Pisces, where you've been slowly but surely moving forward with it. And I feel like things have been bubbling or boiling underneath the surface. Whereas if you may have been going through a really tough or abusive situation, something that has been really heart-wrenching, heartbreaking, three of swords... I feel like oh, you never really said anything about it or you didn't really do anything about it. You just kind of, well, it seemed like you were just letting it go, like it wasn't affecting you. Like maybe in some cases you were even oblivious to it. But under the surface, it has been affecting you and it has been creating change within your life. Okay. Uh, that's that Knight of Pentacles energy. But, uh, and then over time, you know, I'm also getting, I'm also getting a timed, a, a patient or a divine timing type of energy from temperance here. But over time, you've been getting to the point where finally you said enough is enough. And now you are seeking some sort of reciprocity or some sort of change that brings greater balance into your life. And that's why I feel like you're coming out as the Panther at this point. Okay. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get into the rest of this here. We're going to move to the first half of your reading, which is going to look at the past up until the current moment, leading up until the current moment where we currently find ourselves, yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, is the magician. So whatever you've been going through, Pisces, it has been influencing you to step into some sort of manifestational power. It's been influencing you to take control of your life and really start directing your energies towards what it is you truly wanted or what it is you truly want, okay? The magician. Now, also, hold on, because the magician can represent some sort of manipulative energy. 
Interesting. So for some of you, this is a this is a dynamic between you and your father. That's what I'm hearing. But and keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. All right. So just take it as it resonates. If it's not really how this how I'm saying it, just place it into your life as it fits. But for some of you, what I'm getting is that you watched somebody within your environment, within your surroundings, you watched them be very manipulative or at least be, be very forceful and go after what it is that they wanted. And now at this point, I feel like some of you are switching it up and are kind of adopting that energy for yourself. It's very much an energy of like, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. And that's very true, Pisces. All right, the, the magician is coupled with the Six of Swords. Okay. So yeah, this is actually, this is definitely making sense because what I'm feeling here is like, you took your power back, you took ownership of your own power because you didn't want to, you didn't want to be left behind any longer is definitely what I'm hearing, feeling here. Um, also, you didn't want to be manipulated any longer. So it's like you stepped into this ma this magician energy yourself so that you could move away from some sort of dangerous or some sort of toxic environment. Wow. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. In the past, you have the moon here. There you are. That does represent you to a certain extent. Uh, well, it does. Technically, it would represent your energy in the tarot. But the moon is representing illusion. It's definitely representing fear here. Uh, but it's also what I'm getting with this Pisces is that whatever fear or whatever illusion that or darkness you are facing, especially surrounding some sort of manipulative energy with the magician here, you it kind of forced you to go within and to seek out refuge through your intuition. You couldn't trust what it was you were seeing in your environment externally. So you had to go within to understand how it was you truly felt or what it is, I guess, what it is you truly wanted in some cases. The moon is coupled with, yep, the eight of cups. There you go. There was too much illusion. There was too much confusion. There was too much fear. There was too much manipulation. Something just wasn't right and you couldn't put your finger on it. So instead of sticking around to try and figure out, instead of staying... Um, passive, I really feel like you took control and you said is enough is enough. I don't want to deal with this illusionary energy any longer. I'm moving forward. I'm taking my power back. This energy or this situation is not sustainable. I am not being sustained here. I am not receiving the nutrients that I need. I am not receiving the fulfillment that I need. Camel in reverse. There was some sort of crocodile, some sort of really deeply predator type energy and you said no more you're standing up you say you're saying no to the illusions and the fear and also what i'm hearing is you got very grounded and understood what it was you needed to do that knight of pentacles energy it i feel like that the time that it took for you to really go through this process and see it clearly was very beneficial for you because you ultimately we're able to really make a very uh, decisive and conscious decision. Well, I'm sorry, objective and conscious decision in terms of how it is you wanted to move here, what it is you wanted to do. You got to the point where you just said enough is enough. Yeah. Clo uh, no, I'm sorry. Your challenge here in the first half of your reading, Queen of Pentacles, knowing your worth. Yep. Absolutely. Learning your worth. For some of you, this situation that you are coming out of now has taught you a greater sense of your of self-worth. And that's something that was developed. That's one of these elements of this situation that was developed over time. Again, you got a really good sense of grounding into yourself before you said, you know what, enough is enough. I'm moving out of here or I'm moving on. The Queen of Pentacles is coupled with yeah, the five of pentacles. Someone was not valuing you, okay? You dealing with a lack of value or feeling left out in the cold, um, not receiving what it is that you needed. I've li I'm literally getting an energy, Pisces, of you being neglected somehow. 
But ultimately, that taught you to step up for yourself. It like it, it's okay. So what I'm kind of hearing for this right now, Pisces, is like this is this is the type of energy where like the squeaky cog gets the we that gets the oil, the squeaky wheel gets the oil, or a, a closed mouth doesn't get fed. You learned to stand up for yourself. You learned to uh, to to speak up and say, I I need this. I need that. And so for the, something that I'm getting here now is like for some of you, the real struggle with this was coming to terms with like, well, why should I have to tell somebody that I need something if like, say this is your family or this is a romantic situation? Like, why should I have to? Um, I kind of get it, Pisces. Especially if you're dealing with a romantic situation or I am, I'm definitely getting a family situation like this may have something to do with your parents, how it is you were brought up, how you were raised, how you were treated as a child. Um, like if someone is supposed, if someone is supposed to be taking care of you, okay, um, they should at least be aware of like your basic needs to a certain extent. But, but that also, I mean, I understand, I kind of understand where you're coming from there, but that also feels like it was part of the problem you either weren't willing to speak up and say what it was that you wanted or needed or you had some sort of conditioning that kept you from doing that and if you i mean you got to be assertive you know even if especially if you know you're going to be if you're just working with the universe like the universe is going to give you what you need but you need to tell them you need to be open to it. You need to be assertive. You need to take your own action steps to get what it is that you need. You can't just sit there, uh, sit on your hands and just expect or hope for it to be delivered to you. You have to take your certain action steps as well to manifest that, to receive that. You have to speak up. And I, and I do believe that's what it is you learned here in many respects, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading. Two of Cups. Now, the end result of this, for some of you, seems to be that you've, um, you've met a partner throughout all of this. There may have been some sort of comrade that you had or that you were able to gain from this situation. And that's mainly because you guys have, been, have dealt with uh, very similar elements here, okay? You've kind of dealt with the same things. You were able to make, some of you were able to make a connection with somebody else throughout this whole experience, and that's really beautiful. But for the most part, this Two of Cups represents you being in a light, in a, uh, having a deeper connection with yourself. Again, there was a level here of watching somebody go after what it is that they want, consistently get the things that they wanted because they were so absurdive, because they were so manipulative to a certain extent that doesn't necessarily have to be bad because you know when you're when you're manifesting with the universe you're using your tools and you're manipulating the energy to get what it is that you want okay and maybe that was because uh, maybe some of you looked at that type of energy and said to yourself at one point i never want to be like that person but then you started to realize but that person is getting all the things that they want and they need and why am i not doing that so there was some sort of reconciliation that happened within you that allowed you to come together and allowed you to be more assertive. And actually with this two of cups energy, if you were more on the feminine side, you may have had an issue with the masculine because the masculine is the projective, is the one that takes action. And you were more in that feminine energy where just being receptive and just waiting for things to come to you, but that wasn't quite enough. You have to balance both action and receptivity in order to really be get the full spectrum of your uh, abilities online so ultimately i do feel like for some of you or for a lot of you there was some sort of reconciliation that allowed you to get this masculine and feminine energies together for you to work in tandem others of you yes there is a romantic relationship that has come out of this which is kind of beautiful two of cups is coupled with the devil. So for others of you, this, well, but actually for the, okay, for the most part here, well, all right, hold on. Let me collect myself here. This does represent, this two of cups and the devil does represent some sort of energy of you two coming together or you having met someone or come together in terms of the toxicity that you've experienced. 
Now, others of you, this was a this was a relationship you were dealing with, but it was toxic and codependent. And it absolutely helped you to learn about your self-worth and what it is you truly need out of relationships and what it is you truly need out of your life. So maybe the end result of this situation wasn't the relationship. Maybe the relationship happened and then the end result was, or the, the relationship came together because you guys had some sort of camaraderie or an understanding with each other. Like you've been through similar experiences, blah, blah, blah. But the end result of it was you starting to realize that it was a toxic and codependent situation. There was some sort of predator involved. Someone may have been taking advantage of you, your kindness, your energy, and now that is causing you to step up and, st and stand on your own and defend yourself here against something like that. It's causing you to remove yourself from it because you have a greater sense of self-worth. There you go. Okay. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. So the second half is going to look at the current energies moving off into the future. Yes? Yes. First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, you have the Two of Swords. Uh, and I do feel like that's blockage and denial, but I really feel like, Pisces, this is you being in a sort of blockage energy in terms of the past, not wanting to go back to the past. Also, not focusing on how things appear in the external. Instead, focusing on your feelings. Again, with this moon energy, you really were pushed in internally to really connect with your emotions, but also your intuition. And that's what I feel like you are really standing in the power of here with this Two of Swords, okay? Because your physical representation uh, or the physical representation of whatever is going on here for you is, not, is illusionary. It's not a proper representation, there's lies, there's trickery, there's deceit, there's manipulation. You can't necessarily trust the physical expression or the physical look of things. You have to go within and trust your intuition, and I feel like that's what you're doing. Two of Swords is coupled with the Four of Swords. Absolutely. Keeping your mind clear. Not allowing yourself to be manipulated any longer. I feel like whatever relationship or situationship you've been dealing with, again, I'm being taken back to family. But whatever situation you've been dealing with here, Pisces, you're really focused on keeping your mind right and not allowing yourself to be manipulated any longer. Okay? That is a really good thing. You really learned a very valuable lesson in this situation. One that really is going to serve you very well moving forward in life, okay? Even though, yes, it's a painful, tough situation, ultimately it's serving a very, I'm hearing it's serving a divine purpose, as always, as all things usually do, right? Second set of surrounding energies for you in the second half of your reading, the star, healing, and wish fulfillment. I definitely am feeling a very strong energy, Pisces, of you finally being able to move forward from this situation. And I really love how the star is coming out underneath the moon, because things were so clouded and so dark and nebulous and, and, and illusionary before. But now you've gotten very clear. You've gotten very strong mentally. You've been able to, you've been able to calm the mind or at least you've been able to reach a, a, a sufficient a level of mental clarity for you to start to see a way forward. For you to start to see a way to heal and recover from this a way to move on. Whereas in the past, there may have been no end in sight or no way to, uh, to choose to move forward in sight. Yeah, that's beautiful. The star is coupled with the Ace of Cups. This Ace of Cups is also kind of speak. This may really be a very spiritual situation for you because the Ace of Cups is coming through as a cup of divine love. It's as if maybe in the past you felt abandoned by spirit, God, source, creator, whatnot, whatever. You were in a really toxic or, or negative situation and you felt like you have been abandoned by the universe. But now that you've been able to get clear in your mind and you've been able to see past a lot of the illusions here, you have been able to reconnect with the unconditional love of the universe and that is help of God source creator and that is helping you see a way forward. That is so excellent. You were never abandoned, Pisces. But but 
This situation that you had to go through was very much divinely orchestrated and it was very much surrounding you needing to, helping you get to learn a, a, or a stronger understanding of your self-worth and how it is you needed to step up and stand up for yourself in order for you to feel nurtured, cared for it, and loved, for you to receive the things that you need just on your basic level, just to, for basic survival, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here the Page of Wands, uh, stepping into this new identity, speaking up, having the uh, uh, sending the new message, showing people who you truly are at this time. Don't be afraid. Don't be timid. All right. I mean, I I I, I don't want to discourage you from. I don't want you to think that I'm telling you not to be yourself. But uh, but don't be afraid to stand up. Don't be afraid to speak up for yourself. The challenge now is for you for you to put this into practice, for you to start to speak up, send those messages, be this, uh, appear or uh, uh, appear, yes, um, appear, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? To show up, I guess, as this new version of yourself. That's the challenge here, okay? Page of Wands is coupled with the Nine of Wands. Yeah. Perseverance is key. I mean, you've come so far, Pisces. Okay. It's as if the final step here, Pisces, is for you to, to just send this message, step into this power, step into this new um, identity or this new way of being, this new, this new life, life, I want to say lifestyle, life cycle. And it's almost as if like, the, it's like you, there's a fear or there's a possibility of giving up right before the last step. All you, and I understand it's kind of, it's daunting, it's scary, it's a new thing for you, but, but the, really the challenge here for you is to just embody this new energy. You, this nine of wands is, say, is giving me this feeling of like, you've come so far, don't give up now, right? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Pisces. The Page of Cups. That's more of your energy there. New emotional reality. Um, I get a strong level of grace with this, Pisces. I even get this feeling that some, some of you may have some sort of romantic connection that comes from this. A new romantic connection, not the old one. I just get this offer from... I'm getting a feeling for some of you of an offer from somebody... But uh, a new romantic reality or a new emotional reality, excuse me, one that is much more fulfilling, one that allows you to feel safe and heard, one that allows you to dream. This is beautiful. Page of Cups is coupled with, yes, look at that, Pisces, the Ten of Cups. Happiness, emotional fulfillment. This, so what you're stepping into, Pisces, is an energy of being in a uh, much more healthy and beneficial emotional state, emotional reality that allows you to really ex uh, to, that allows you to really gain access to that ten of cups, to that strong, uh, the, the 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 ultimate emotional fulfillment. I feel like the phase that you're moving into your life at this point is going to allow you to move forward, to take the strides or to take the steps to actually reach that which would be emotionally, ultimately emotionally fulfilling for you. That's another reason why you can't give up now. Move forward with ever new, with whatever new identification, uh, personal sense of identification, page of wands, um, new new reality, new message to send. Move forward with that because that is going to move you towards ultimate emotional fulfillment, your ultimate happiness and bliss. Okay, that is so wonderful for you. All right, <clears throat> let's close out the reading here. I want to get you some Oracle guidance, closing Oracle guidance from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. <clears throat> Excuse me. Five shuffles here for you, Pisces. One. Two. Three. Closing Oracle guidance for Pisces. Four. Five. All right, Pisces, let's get your closing message.
it is. Card number eight, Into Me I See. The key concepts of this card are intimacy, trust in another, dropping shields and rigid boundaries to allow connection, the willingness to be vulnerable. At certain precious moments, you're called into a deep, meaningful connection with the world or another person. A magical affinity arises with the kind of int intimacy that in turn encourages a greater understanding of yourself. The relationship acts as a mirror, helping you to see your own patterns. What it reflects about you can further your own personal evolution. Now is the time to take a risk by connecting with another. Can you, allow, can you see how far you've come? Can you see what is still active within you that needs to change or heal? You will discover more about who you are as you discover more about another. Even if you cannot possibly know what, is truly, what it's truly like to be in someone else's shoes, you can listen and learn. This is a magical gift being offered to you right now. This concept applies beyond romantic connection. What do the dynamics in your closest friendships, work relationships, and family say about you? Relationships are extraordinary opportunities for healing. When predicted on, I'm sorry, when predicated on honesty and caring, they have a great impact on how you contribute to the world. Intimate relationships hold up a mirror of truth and reveal more treasures than you might ever expect. If you can look into it, take a risk, and see everything as beautiful, even in its imperfections, imagine how deep you could go. Beautiful. So there you have it, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested, and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. If you would like extra monthly content with me throughout the month, that is uh, somewhat daily readings and whatnot, whatever, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Pisces, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yes? Beautimus. Bye.